Hey, this is DJTM with another quick tutorial on the core functions of the Remix decks within Tractor Pro 2.6. What we're going to do is actually go ahead and load a Remix set into the Remix deck that I've got here, deck C. And accessing the core controls of the Remix deck are actually slightly different between the mouse, which I'm using primarily for this tutorial, and you've got a controller like the Control F1. So you can see as I hover here over the waveform, you get access to the key lock, FX enable, monitor, and punch mode. But if I actually just push the mouse off there, and now I'll hold shift on my Control F1, you can see that those come up actually over the top of the remix slots. And if I go ahead and hit buttons on the Control F1, I can turn each of those on and off as I like. So that's the interaction mode that's slightly more specific to the Control F1, but we're going to focus on using the keyboard and mouse here. So hopefully by now you've, you've gotten this far because you've had a play and, and tried to play out a remix set. And let's walk you through some of these main controls. So if we go ahead and start the playing a few samples here, you'll notice initially that I'm running in 4-beat quantization so that whenever I press a new sample, it will only come in on the 4th beat. So you see it flashes as it waits and then comes in on that fourth beat. So if you're wondering why when you trigger samples they're not happening exactly as you expect, make sure you're running in advanced mode and spend a little bit of time to understand this quantization. If you want to just turn it off, hit the blue dot and you can jump around your samples exactly how you want, closer to the finger drumming that you might be expecting. And I'm going to turn quantization on here. Now if I hover over, just to run you through these controls, key lock works exactly like it does in a track deck. If you pitch the remix deck up or down to a faster or slower tempo, it will maintain the key of the original sample. Now, you can hear it, but only a little bit with a beat. So let's go ahead and add some more components here. Bring all these in. So we've got our remix deck ticking away there, and if I just hover over again, you'll see that key lock is not on any deck. Now, I've got this remix deck synchronized to the master clock, the main clock within Tractor, and if I go ahead and pitch this up, you'll hear that that chipmunk's quite a lot. But if I go into the deck here and actually turn on key locking and note that it is on each individual sample, that now it sounds, although faster, the actual tone, the pitch of the samples are as per their original. And that applies the same if I was then to pitch that way down to say 110 beats per minute, you'll notice it chance sounds the same. If I work that back off, you'll notice that slow down quite a lot compared to what it was originally. And we'll return that back to the original. Now, the FX button is for each of the remix slots, and there are four, whether or not it will actually use the FX. So it's not enough for a remix deck to just go and assign the FX, and in this case, let's use FX unit one. I've got a reverb already turned on in this remix deck, in the uh, sample deck rather, for up here in the FX unit. So let's go ahead and assign FX unit one to remix deck C. But as you can see, there's no change. But if I actually turn on the FX in the slot, it might be a little hard to pick up on, on the recording, but there is a slow reverb that's coming in. If I wind up that wet knob, you'll be able to hear that even more. And if I instantly pull that wet knob out, you hear that sort of reverb hiss go away. I'll turn that to 50% and you'll just hear it. And of course, you can actually assign the FX to each of the sample slots independently, depending on what sort of remix set you're trying to build up and what sound. So maybe you only want that FX on that lower end, in this case, your beats and your bass, but you want your melodies to be relatively unchanged. So we'll go ahead and turn that off just for a bit of clarity. A headphone monitor is fairly obvious, hopefully, that lets you listen to that sample slot in the headphone monitor output of Tractor. But do note that it operates, again, independently of the 
actual deck queue, you'll notice as soon as I turn on the deck C queue, now all of deck C will be routed out to the headphones, but you'll notice that that actually turned off the individual slot monitoring. And if I go ahead and turn that on again, you'll notice that changes between where it was at the deck and just to the slot. So it is possible to headphone monitor one or more or all of your slots independently. But if at any time you turn on the deck wide queue, you'll actually lose the individual slot queues as well. The last function, which is probably the most complicated but still relatively easy, is this button for punch mode. And what this means is, is that when you change from sample A to sample B, or in this case let's say beats 1 to beats 2, it will drop into the new sample at the same playback head position as the previous sample. The alternative is, if that's turned off, when you go ahead and trigger a new sample, you'll notice that it jumps right to the start of that sample. And so it's halfway through, I'll hit it, hits that 12th beat out of the 16 and goes back to the start. Do it again, you notice it was halfway, now it's back to the start. So if you turn on punch mode, when you trigger that second sample, you'll notice that head, playback head stayed in the middle of the set and I'll try and trigger it around that eighth beat every time. And so see how the playback head follows through. All of these are 16 beat loops in this beat section, therefore every change will be maintained on whatever, in this case because of quantization, but every fourth beat, but will be maintained through. So punch mode is useful if you maybe got two beats that are the same size loop, or maybe an acapella that you need to drop in at the same point as your previous acapella. It's just worth understanding how this feature works for you. All right, so that was just a quick overview of some of the core controls in the remix decks in Tractor. Hit me up on the Native Instruments forums or at djtmhire.com.